Bring on the bearded gift giver. From the crowded malls to the delicious cake balls, I just love this time of year. I love the smiling faces, the blinking lights, the wrapped presents, the time off from work, and the holiday classics on television. What could be better than watching Home Alone in a house full of loved ones? Oh, but wait. What about the people who really are home alone? What about those who have no family or friends? What about the homeless man and widowed woman? What about all the orphans? What about the depressed and downtrodden? What about those in war-torn countries or county jails? I wonder about the father who can't afford gifts for his children, or the woman who can't even have children. What about them this time of year? God has always had concern for the less fortunate, for those who are hurting or hindered. That is why the Old Testament is filled with passages about helping the fatherless, the stranger, and the widow. They were often marginalized and mistreated in society. In the New Testament, the apostles were obviously in the habit of giving to the poor. John 12, verse 5, John 13, verse 29. And the Lord said that judgment will hinge on whether or not you fed the hungry, clothed the naked, and welcomed the stranger. If God remembers the forgotten, shouldn't we? I love the holidays, the time with friends, the tasty desserts, the silly sweaters, the anxious children running downstairs on Christmas morning. But let us be mindful of the less fortunate and do what we can to help. This holiday season, rejoice and remember. Remember.